Copilot in Excel can do way more than just creating basic formulas. Here are three things you probably didn't know you could do. Number one, you can use it to highlight things on your spreadsheet and apply conditional formatting. I have got a spreadsheet here which represents orders from a fictional retail company and I'm going to ask Copilot to add a color scale and data bars to the order total column. Notice that I'm asking it to do two things at once here and Copilot, not Autopilot, it doesn't change my spreadsheet until I say, yes, that looks good please go ahead and apply that. You can also ask it to sort from highest to lowest. You don't have to use Excel language of ascending and descending, and it will pick up the context of what you've just done and continue working on that column. Again, you're in charge. There you go. Number two, you can use it with text-based spreadsheets. I have got here feedback from a fictional training program, and I'm going to ask Copilot to add a column that rates the sentiment of the comments that have come through in the feedback. This is going to use the underlying AI to interpret those comments and add a column based on whether it is positive, negative, or mixed feedback. And again, I'm in control of adding that into that spreadsheet. Number three, you can use it to create charts and do analysis on your data. In this example, I'm going to ask it to create a column chart using the quantity by product. So you'll see here, I've not even got everything grouped by product. It's gonna pull that quantity column. I'm asking for a specific type of chart and to have it sorted in order. It will create a preview of the chart in the chat for me. And then I can choose to add that to a new spreadsheet. You can also get very deep analysis with some of the more sophisticated language models. If you'd like to see how that works or go deeper into any of these things, check out my full tutorial here.